Jesus, the character Jesus in the Gospels says, I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. So Jesus did not see himself as a peacemaker. He did not see himself, inverted commas, as the prince of peace. Because he st stated it categorically. I have not come to bring peace. I have come to bring a sword. And a sword is an image of violence. And when I thought about that, the first thing that occurred to me as a Jew is those words have been fulfilled over 2,000 years of the church persecuting the Jewish people. The words of Jesus have been fulfilled in the church. Now there is a, a saying, a school of thought, that be careful what you say, because what you say can come into effect. But sometimes some people believe it can work for good. So if you keep looking in the mirror every day and say, I am successful, I am a success, I will be a success. If you keep on saying that, so some modern thinkers believe, then you will become a success because what you have just said is a statement of belief and what you believe will come into effect. Right? And so there are people who come to believe they're beautiful by repeating it every day, I am beautiful, I am beautiful. I am going to be a success. I am, it's almost, it's almost like a spell in a sense, I was, I'm thinking. An incantation, I will be a success, I will be a success. Remember, you're not praying to God. God, can I be a success in my occupation, please? No. What, what the people do is they say, I will be a success. I will be a success. So they're willing it to happen. It's a sort of... It has a, a slightly occultish feel to it, although it's the modern trend. Um, you know, keep, keep positive about yourself and, and keep saying these things about yourself. But it is like an incantation. And... So the words of Jesus actually took effect. I have not come to bring peace. No, that's correct. I have come to bring a sword. And yes, that's what happened. All his followers were persecuting the Jewish people for 2,000 years. Before ISIS was the church, you know, Really, Jihadi John was a British citizen and he probably would know British history and he would know possibly about the history of persecution of the Jewish people, right? He would know what the church has done in the past to the Jewish people. So before ISIS was the church. The church has a, you know, has set the precedent. If, if you want to know how to persecute people, what's the best way of going about it? Look at the church, study the history of the church. And when also when I think I have come to bring a sword, I also have the image of Jihadi John there in his extremism of off with the head, off with the head, with a sword. 
So you've got this Jesus figure who's supposed to be, people say, a man of peace, but that contradicts itself with his very words because he says, I've not come to bring peace. I have not come to bring peace. I have come to bring a sword. And those words, in my view, have been fulfilled in the church. In the church against the Jewish people. And who knows what is going to happen in the future. At the moment, the evangelical church is all schmoozy and loving towards the Jews because they want to convert them. But I remember saying a few years ago to an ex-head of Jews for Jews that I could see a time in the future when Jewish believers in Jesus and evangelical Christians perhaps will get infuriated that not able to convert as many Jews as they want to believe in Yeshua, Jesus, and that they could turn quite aggressive. In other words, we know from history that history repeats itself. That's what we all know from studying history. And I wouldn't be surprised if Jewish believers in Jesus sort of start to turn against their own Jewish people because of their refusal to believe in Jesus. I am already seeing this in on the internet, two young Israelis setting up a website. They admit on the site that what they're saying, the statements they're saying, are anti-Semitic. They can be construed as anti-Semitic. They know exactly what they're doing. But they have said they are so determined to convert the Jew to believe in Jesus that it's justified. Because it the ends justifies the means, you know? It, you justify. I always get this expression back to front. Of, you know, but you know, where you know what I mean, don't you? This is, this is, a, this is a, a, a worrying ch trend. And we know from history that it repeats itself. I have not come to bring the peace, to bring peace. He's not the Prince of Peace. He's not the Prince of Peace. Not from what I can see from his followers' history. I have come to bring a sword. And that's exactly, exactly what the church did for 2,000 years against Jewish people and against their own people, against their own people, against their own people.